All right, as you've already noticed, we're going to continue to get more complicated here. So I'm going to make it a little bit more complicated, not because I'm going to change to a different operation. We're still going to use addition and subtraction of matrices, all right? But we're going to add something called a scalar product or a scalar number in front, okay? So in this example here, I've told you matrix E is this matrix here, 2, 0, 1, and 5. What are the dimensions of this matrix? Two by two. Two rows by two columns. All right? Then I want you to take a number two and use that as a scalar product on that matrix E. So I've gone ahead and written matrix E and that number two in front, and students have already asked me this, and you guys are correct. All you do is multiply every single number in matrix E times two. So it'll become 4, 0, 2, and 10. Notice, did the dimensions change? It's still a 2 by 2 matrix, but all we've done is multiplied every single number in there by 2. Is everyone okay? That's called a scalar product. Yeah, Carlos. How did you get 2? This 2? This will be just given to you, like in the problem or when we do like a in many weeks when we do like a, an application problem at the end of this unit, in the, pr in the wording it will tell you, right? Double the size, triple the size, something like that, okay? Oh, so it's not gonna always it won't always be two, great, Christine. It could be any number, it could be a fraction as well, right? It also could be a negative. Right, that's why you have calculators. All right, let's try an example. It wants me to do three R minus P. So I'm going to take every single number in matrix R and do what with it? Multiply by, Multiply by 3. So I'm going to write 1 times 3, which is 3. 4 times 3, 12. Negative 2 times 3, negative 6. 3 times 3, 9. And finally, 0 and 12 again. Again, we didn't change the dimensions here. What are the dimensions of this matrix? What are the dimensions of matrix R? How many rows? Three by how many columns? Two. So it is a three by two. So when I write minus P, if matrix P is not a three by two matrix, I did what here? I just wasted my time. Okay? So again, the same rules apply even though we've moved on to add scalar products. Okay. Uh, it's subtraction, right? Yes. So right, minus P. So matrix P is 3, negative 2, 1, 0, 2, negative 1. Let's check the dimensions. Because if they're not a 3 by 2, I can't do this. How many rows here? 3. How many columns? 2. So is it possible to do this operation? It is. Okay, so guys, I know we're getting a little bit more complicated, but it's just the same process. You still ultimately are going to add or subtract numbers. Yes? Dimensions? Dimensions. Dimension. Yeah, so even if I ask you to do 4x minus 20y, but x and y are not the same dimensions, you don't need to do the 4 and the 20 part. You just write not possible. Okay? So just that's kind of like a mental save you some time. So this is possible, so I do need to write an answer here. All right, so let's see what my answer is. What is 3 minus 3? Zero, JD, you still with me? Great. 12 minus negative 2. Actually, it'll be 14. And I saw some students had some trouble with this on the previous ones. Subtracting a negative is really doing what? It's really just adding. Okay, so that's really 12 plus 2. Negative 6 minus 1. Negative 7. The way that I think is the easiest to explain this, you have a negative 6, you have a minus 1, a negative and a negative is still a negative, and then what's 6 plus 1? 7. That's how I do that. 
negative 6 and a negative 1 gives you negative 7. All right, what about 9 minus 0? 9, 0 minus 2. And finally, 12 minus negative 1. Same idea here, 13. Okay? Any questions for me on this one?